Yeah, good evening. Some are shocked, others are indifferent. As a service member myself, well, I share the same concerns when it comes to deployment as any other person would in this situation. But here at the Connecticut National Guard, well, they said that they are on standby. Take a listen. At this point, we haven't received any new updated orders or instructions based on the strike on General Suleimani. Um, but we are always self-interested. Captain David Pitlick says soldiers here in the state will be on standby and watching. Thousands of troops will reportedly deploy overseas following the airstrike. U.S. officials saying the latest drone strike was to stop an imminent attack in the region after the U.S. Embassy was attacked this past Tuesday, provoking protest. <laughs> and going into this type of tension is something that officials say U.S. troops prepare for. But leaders in the military say the most effective way is to make sure every soldier is ready to say goodbye. We have to be honest when we think things are going to happen or we think things aren't going to happen to let them make appropriate decisions about child care, employment, potentially putting their education on hold. Leaders say for every soldier who has raised their right hand and have family or friends that these events should be a reminder on why they chose to serve. When you actually do get those orders, I think that emotionally that comes home. So that's when it's a time of introspection and remembering what you signed up to do, but also telling those people that it affects that I will be with you soon. I will see you again, you know, whether it's however many months down the line. Besides those in service, people in the community are reacting to the news. It's split. You have a lot of people that um, agree that it was a good decision and that we do need to move in. Um, and a lot of people are saying, why are sending our troops out again? I'm really worried about soft targets around the world because there, there will be retaliation and I'm also, there will be a, probably a cyber attack or something like that. I mean, I think it's the, the ripple effects of this are kind of unpredictable. Now, at this time, I want to reiterate real quick that the National Guard said that nothing has changed based on their normal everyday operations from this recent U.S. military strike, but they are going to stand by ready and able to serve at any given time. We're live in Hartford, Brian, like Fox 61 News. And Brian, before you go, we also learned that you have spoken to officials with the Foundation of Iranians of Connecticut. What is their take on this? Well, they didn't want to comment fully, understandably, at this time, but they do go on to say in part that the please note that the F. IOC is a non-political and a non-religious organization. The FOIC does not support or oppose any political or religious ideology, party, or doctrine anywhere in the world. The FIOC strongly believes that Iranians are peace-loving people and want to live in harmony with the rest of the civilized nations. Of course, we're going to keep covering this situation as it develops, so you can expect more from Fox 61 News. Amanda. Brian.